We'll guide you through how to play PS5 games on your iPad. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing and also liking the video. It's important to note that you will need to own a PS5 for this to work and you will need access to it to set it up. But once it's set up, we can then go and use and play PS5 games anywhere with our iPad with a connection to the internet. So what we will need to do firstly is open up the App Store like so. And then once the app store opens, we need to go and click on search and we need to go and search for an app called PS Remote Play, just like so. And then the app we need is this one here. So you can go and click on get and go and download it. Once it's finished downloading, go and open it up just like this. And it'll go and take a moment to load. And then what you need to do is go and sign into PSN. And what's really important is that you sign into the same PSN account as you use on your PlayStation. After you've signed in, there's a data setting, so you can do that however you want, it's pretty personal. I just prefer limited. Now what we need to do is go and connect our PS5 controller to our iPad. So to do that, just go and close off of the app and go and open up your settings. And then what you need to do is just go and tap on Bluetooth on the left and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. And then what we need to do is go and put our controller into pairing mode. So to do that, you hold the button in the top left while holding the PlayStation button. You keep holding them till it starts flashing blue, just like that. And as soon as it starts flashing blue, it's going to appear on your iPad and you can tap on it and it will then say connected. And then what we can do is go back to the PlayStation app just here, and then you can go and tap okay. And then it says um, PS Remote Player would like to use your local network. That's fine, I'll tap okay. And then what you want to do is go and tap on PS5 like this and it will go and take a moment to load and then it will say before connecting to your PS5 and there's a few steps we need to do. So let's do that now. So on your PS5 we need to open up our settings. So I'm going to go to the top right and go and click on the gear cog icon settings. Then go down to system and then go down to remote play and click in there and make sure remote play is enabled. If you can't go and enable it, it's likely because this PS5 isn't your primary one. To change that, go out of system, then go to users and accounts and go to other, and then go to console sharing and offline play and make sure yours is enabled. Mine is, as you can see, if yours isn't, there's going to be an enable button. So I'm gonna go and press don't disable as mine already is, and then go back out of your uh, user settings, go back to system, and then go and press on remote play and then go and toggle it on. After you've enabled remote play, go to power saving and then tap on features available in rest mode. And then you need to make sure stay connected to the internet is turned on and also turn on enable turning on PS5 from network because then we can go and use remote play and PlayStation app from anywhere. And then the final thing you need to do is leave your PS5 in rest mode. To do that, just press on the PlayStation button on your remote and then go down and go over to the right to the power button and then you can just tap on enter rest mode. Now that we've done those steps, we can go and click OK and then it will gonna go, it's gonna go and start loading. As you can see, it says searching for connections. So all you now need to do is wait. And just like that, it's now gone and loaded. So at the bottom of the screen, there are a few controls, but we've gone and connected our PlayStation controller. So literally we can go and use our PS5 and play games on our iPad. So let's go and get into Fortnite, for example. I'll go and tap on play game. Um, we had an error, that's fine. So let's go and get into a new game and I'll show you it working. And so here we are in Fortnite, and as you can see, I'm literally playing the game on my iPad. Now you may notice a little bit of latency, and what I mean by latency is basically the time taken for the action to happen after you've gone and pressed the button on your remote say, but to be honest, this is pretty quick. Like as soon as I'm moving, it's, gonna, it's reacting really well. And the latency you get will depend on your connection to the internet, but if you find it's really bad, then you may just have to find that you play non-competitive games. After you finish, just go and click on the cog icon in the bottom left, and then go and tap on disconnect. And what you want to do is go and click on put the connected console into rest mode, because this means you can then go and connect to it again in the future, then tap okay, and that's it. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.